How's it going guys? It's JR here. So yesterday I was asked a question in the comments. Now I do check your comments whenever I get them. I get them as emails. So don't ever think I'm ignoring you. I just have a bad tendency to not reply soon. Try to get into the habit of replying. So always check your notifications on YouTube because you never know when I will reply to your comments. Today's question came from a lovely individual. Uh, she was asking, or he was asking, if I have any advice for kids. This person's child has a detached retina and they are five years old, so I'm assuming they are already starting to lose their vision. And the person asked, what advice would I give for someone who is losing their vision at a young age? What skills is there that uh, they should do immediately and uh, you know learn? My main advice would be teach them to use the white cane. The white cane is that stick you see most visually impaired or blind people use. It's black on the top and white in the middle and then red on the bottom with a mushroom tip usually. I use mine. You see it in the vlogs once in a while when I'm out and about. Uh, when it comes to raising a five-year-old who can't see, all you gotta do is teach them everything that you can think of at a young age, right? How to make their cereal. Teach them what what boxes, you know, like some blind people will tear a corner off their cereal box to know, ah, hey, this is, uh, you know, this is Frosted Flakes. Or they'll purposely bend the wooden package, the wooden package? They'll bend their paper packages at a certain corner to know, oh, this is, uh, this is corn flakes or frost flakes or whatever, you know, corn pops, whatever. So the trick to raising a child who is visually impaired parents, in my opinion, is teach them everything immediately. Don't put anything off. The sooner you learn your mobility skills, the sooner uh, you know that you're blind and it's a little different for you, the less difficult it is. There's things that you're not going to be able to heal from when you know you can't see, right? Like, for me, looking for employment, there's not a day that doesn't go by. I don't, I don't cry. I don't shed a tear. It's because it's hard for me to find employment. No one wants to give me that opportunity because when they see a blind person or someone who can't see very good, they don't see reliability. They just see liability. They think of their company and they don't realize that Especially in Canada, employers don't realize there's funding out there for blind people. There's funding out there for the visually impaired. Anyway, I got off I got off track and I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, before I wrap it up though, if you are a parent of someone who is visually impaired and maybe you haven't told them yet or you haven't gotten them ready, get them ready as soon as possible. Let them know that they can't see and teach them the ways. It is your buddy JR. Um, <laughs> remember to be cool, be kind, and above all, be yourself. Coming up tomorrow, we'll talk about money. How do blind people read Canadian money? How do they see Canadian money? How do they know what's a 5, 10, 20, 50, or $100 bill? So I got to go to the bank later on and get that cash out of my account so I can show you guys what uh, money looks like in Canada and how we know uh, how to read it. Anyway, if you have any other suggestions please let me know down in the comments. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and we'll continue this blind series until we go flat again, until we run out of ideas. Uh, remember to take a look at the playlist and uh, yeah, it's the first link in the description of the video and it'll catch you up to date on all the videos we've made about being blind, all that good stuff. All right, it is J.R. Bjornsson. Until the next one, see you real soon.